Is the god Muslims worship actually an ancient Anunnaki? Greetings mortals, capital day to all. I'm your host Simon. Welcome back to the Library of Gnosis. The crescent moon has been a symbol of Islam for hundreds of years. But why is the Islamic god linked to the moon? The oldest known high civilization on earth is the Sumerian, and they had a polytheistic religion where they worshipped gods they called the Anunnaki, or those from heaven came. Nanar or Sin was one of the gods in the pantheon, and he was a moon god, the son of Enlil and Ninlil. According to numerous archaeological inscriptions, while the name of the moon god was Sin, his title was Al-Ilah i.e. the deity, meaning that he was the chief or high god amongst the gods. The god El, or Allah, was originally a face of the moon god. The moon god was called Al-Ilah, i.e. the god, which was shortened to Allah in pre-Islamic times, standing for the crescent face of the moon. The last king of Babylon, Nabodinus, attempted to elevate Sin to a supreme position within the Pantheon. It is now on their flag along with Venus the Morning Star, a Luciferian symbol. Sin was the father of the sun god, Shamash, and in some myths of Ishtar, the Sumerian Inanna, goddess of Venus. Venus is often identified as the Morning Star. Sin had a beard made of lapis lazuli and rode a winged bull. The bull was one of his symbols. Through his father, Enlil, bull of heaven, along with the crescent moon and the tripod, which may be a lampstand. On cylinder seals, he is represented as an old man with a flowing beard and a crescent symbol. In the astro theological system, he is represented by the number 30 and the moon. This number probably refers to the average number of days, correctly around 29.53 in a lunar month as measured between successive new moons. It is no coincidence that the crescent moon is so common in Islamic countries. As the bull was one of Sin's symbols, the crescent moon was used pointing upwards to symbolize bull horns. The moon and the crescent is used in many Islamic countries like Azerbaijan, Algeria and especially Mauritania, which has the bullhorn crescent and Venus the morning star, Inanna the daughter of Nanor. So, what do you think, mortal? Is the god 1.8 billion people worship actually an ancient Sumerian god, an Anunnaki? Thank you for listening. See you next time, mortal. Remember to hit that bell button to stay notified. Subscribe for more red pill content. Do give it a like if you enjoyed it, and feel free to share it. If you want to support my work, you can find me on Patreon at Library of Gnosis. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, and BitChute at Library of Gnosis. The audio versions of my broadcasts are available on Spotify as a podcast at Library of Gnosis. Music is produced by Coda.